I want to talk with you for a few minutes about a wisely lived life. It has been said by C.S. Lewis, The process of living seems to consist of coming to realize truths so ancient and simple that if stated, they sound like barren platitudes. They can't sound otherwise unless those who have not had the revelant experience can understand. That is why there is no real teaching of such truths possible and every generation starts from scratch. I've often said something that a lot of times people haven't understood, and that is simply you can't learn something you don't already know. And I'm talking about a soul knowing. So often people read positive daily inspiration from other countries and so on that have never heard the positive teachings of Christianity in this way. And they, they just nod their head and they say, yes, that is true. How do they know it's true? Because they know at a soul level that it's true. Wisdom doesn't spring up overnight. It takes time. To become wise, we must seek God's wisdom and live according to God's word. It says in Proverbs 13, verse 20, They who walk with the wise grow wise. And we must not only learn the lessons that God teaches, but also and this is the big A also. We have to live by them. It's not enough just to go to church. It's not enough to listen to these broadcasts. It's, it's to take it on yourself and decide that this is the way I'm going to live. Would you like to experience the comfort and peace that results from a wisely lived life? If so, I invite you to study the ultimate source of wisdom, and that is the Word of God. And then seek out worthy mentors and, and listen carefully to their advice. Associate day in and day out with mature, thoughtful friends and act in accordance with God's wisdom and guidance gleaned through these resources. And when you do these things, you know, my friend, you'll become wise. and You'll be a blessing to your friends and your family and to the world that will be watching you and they will become wise.